Hey, this is Keith with Taxol. I'm here to show you how quick and easy it is to install the X-Ring barrel on your 1022 rifle. Before we get into the barrel installation, I just want to go over a few of the great things about these barrels. One is that there's no gunsmithing required to install this barrel. They install quickly and easy, something you can do at home. Some of the other great options is that they're extremely lightweight, about 15 ounces, very versatile in their use, whether you're shooting a match, going out just plinking, doing hunting, easy to carry all day long. Some of the other great features are they all come with a threaded end. They're standard, so it's one half by 28 for easy silencer or compensator attachment. The great thing is they're available in a variety of colors, so you can pick the color that you like best. Before we install the X-ring barrel, first thing you can do is make sure the magazine has been removed from the rifle and that the chamber is clear. Always make sure your firearm is unloaded before beginning any work. Now that the rifle is clear, the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and center the safety. Therefore, allow, when the rifle is pulled out, it will allow that safety to clear the stock. And then we're going to use a 5 seconds Allen wrench screw to loosen the takedown screw. If you have an older rifle, you may have a flathead screw there. Once that screw is unthreaded from the receiver, you should be able just to pull the barreled action from the stock. So we're just going to go ahead and use a 5 3 seconds Allen wrench to go ahead and remove the or loosen the screws and then remove them and the V-block. This one already has the upgraded Tactical Solution stainless steel V-block. Now the screws are completely loosened from the action slash receiver. I can go ahead and pull them out along with that V-block and pull the factory barrel off. If you're lucky that won't take too much effort. Now ready to go ahead and take a look at installing the X-ring barrel. This one is just a little bit tight so we'll have to size it. That's pretty common. We oversize our shank. So we just recommend using a little emery cloth or sandpaper. I'll show you here. To size the shank I'm just going to use a little bit of emery cloth here and remove some of the anodized from the barrel. It takes just a few minutes. Once you've removed some of the anodized from the barrel, you get to the point where we're typically just breaking through the anodized. You're going to check the fit. I bet it's about ready here. I'm just going to put a little light gun oil on there. Helps it slide in a little easier. Insert the shank into the barrel. Make sure that the extractor slot and the bottom of the dovetail cut lines up with the receiver. I can go ahead and put, put back on that Tax Solutions stainless steel V-block and tighten down the action screws. Once you have the V-block screws tightened, you want them tightened about 20 to 24 inch pounds of your optimum torque. You're going to go ahead and make sure that safety is still centered and I'm ready to put it in the stock. Now, now I'm going to put it in the Magpul Hunter X22 stock. When you switch out to the, the X-Ring barrel, it is a 920 diameter barrel, so you're going to need a stock that fits a 920 diameter barrel. I love this stock just because it fits so great and it's a nice rigid stock. Go ahead and tighten this takedown screw. This takedown screw you can generally tighten to about 15 to 20 inch pounds, and that'll give you optimum torque. Now to have it all together, I'm ready to put on a scope and go shooting. Thanks for watching. For more great products, please visit us at tacticalsol.com.